Hey guys, it's me, it's Honest R. I hope you have a great day. I'm having a great day. And today we're going to do another buy or skip episode, Wish App Edition. If you don't know what Wish is, Wish is an app for your mobile where you can buy all kinds of crap from China. And for this week we're going to test out this HD DVR, HD portable DVD with 2.5 inch TFT LCD screen. That's a long name for a simple dash cam. This was uh, around uh, 10 euros plus 5 euro shipping, so I paid around 15 euros for it. And actually, this is it. I've already unpacked it. It comes uh, with all. Oh, it comes with a camera, uh, this thingy where you can uh, screw on and put it on your windshield. Uh, of course, there's a camera in the in the middle. It has a microphone uh, here. Uh, it has a battery also. I have to show you. It's a battery right over here. But the battery only lasts around 30 minutes, so you definitely going to need a car charger, which I don't have here. But it comes with a car. It also comes with a car charger. Uh, well, you can put a normal SD card. Oh, there's one in it, but. You can put a normal SD card uh, right here in it, and on the other side, we've got your. Have to get it open. Come on, open! Don't let me down. Over here, you can put in your charger. Now, let's open it and. If you open it and turn it on, it will immediately start recording, like that. So, hello, and you got some functions. Not not many, but uh, right now, oh, I got it set on uh, 1080p. Uh, I got a timestamp on. Uh, motion detection is off, so if it's if you are standing still, something it will not uh, record anything. Uh, I've got the video time set on 10 minutes, so after 10 minutes it uh, jumps to a new file. So you don't have to go to minutes and minutes of video to search something back. And I've got voice uh, recorder on, so it will record any sounds. Now, I've uh, already tested it uh, on two separate days, both in daytime. And let's jump to my desktop. And we'll go see the results or if the image quality or if the dash cam produces quad quality. So let's go to my desktop. Okay, welcome uh, to my desktop. Over here you can see the numbers of files that uh, my dash cam has created. Uh, I only uh, tested this uh, dash cam in, in daylight, so no night footage. Uh, you can see that there are a lot of 10 minute files, so in that way, it uh, no. After 10 minutes, it will go to a new file. So you see over here, this is supposed to be 10 minutes, and then it jumps to the next one. But unfortunately, uh, there's already one problem. I've already seen this footage uh, before. I will show it to you. It did not record correctly. You can see over here that this one is now 10 minutes and five seconds long, and it's 755 megabytes. But if we play it, let's play it. That was it. It only recorded there go. And three seconds and the picture freezes. So that's, that is not looking good. So we'll just go to the next one. And this one actually did uh, record it something. Now if you look at the, the quality of the image, it's not that great. This is supposed to be 1080p according to the, uh, the settings in the dash cam itself. But this doesn't look far from 1080. And you've got really trouble to reading everything. You cannot read uh, the license plate. You can barely see if we uh, go a little bit, uh, spread my pounds. You can barely, I mean, I know this place, so I can almost read the, the villages that were are about to approach. So this is Bleiswijk, 
Penthuizen en uh, Zoetermeer. But because I've noted, then I can read it, but you probably cannot. But the most troublesome, I mean, of course, if I give this to the police, they will probably recognize where I'm driving. And here, here we've got the, got the picture freezes again. And there's nothing to do with that my video card or anything. It's nothing to do that the buffer of, uh, is, is, um, is full. Uh, if I skip immediately to the end, it immediately freezes. You hear my voice in the background? It actually does record the voice uh, nicely. So let's look at some other files. This is also from the first day. And you can see uh, picture quality is not that great. And if I remember correctly, it will freeze in about 10 seconds. So let's wait. You see, I'm stopping right behind this car and I cannot even read the license plate of that car. There it is, there it freezes. And it's with all the video files. I think there's even a video file. It's not, yeah, here, this one I cannot even play back. Why? Because it's damaged for some reason. And this one is also damaged. It's all, this, all these weird crashes in the video. And this one, and this one is pretty normal. I think it also freezes. Yep, there it freezes. And this one, this was a very short one. And this one, no, it also freezes. And this one, oh, it just recorded. Uh, this one is supposed to be a recording of 10 minutes and 5 seconds but it only shows for like 1 or 2 seconds it's 1 second so nope that's not good sorry if you pause it you, you cannot read anything let you, you cannot read the license plate so what could we'll do I think there's only like one instance in this video where I can actually see a license plate and that is when I... Right here. Here I can read the license plate if the date isn't in a way, but here it is 8ZSF81 I, I think. ZFP. Oh, look, here we can read it. You see, 8ZSP81. This is the one license plate in the entire of all the videos that I could actually read. So, this dash cam doesn't produce the... doesn't produce great quality or all the video files are corrupt. So, the only positive I can actually can think of this uh, the little dash game that the, the sound quality is actually good. The, it records sound very, very nicely. So that's what you get. You get like a very cheap uh, microphone if you buy this. But let's turn to my other camera for I give my final conclusion, even though, even though we already know it. But let's do it anyway. See you on the other camera. So to the final conclusion. Like I said already in my uh, video over there, it's not good. It's, it's crap. It's crap. It produces bad quality picture. It freezes a lot. It gets corrupted. It's missing video minutes only. It records, it says it's recorded for 10 minutes, but you only get to see like 2 or 3 seconds at most. 
You cannot read anything except for that one license plate. It does have, uh, I must say, a decent microphone. It produces pretty average sound quality. So what you will get for 10, 15 euros is an average microphone. That's it. That's all of it. And even the battery, even the battery is bad. After 30 minutes of recording, you're definitely going to need a uh, charger for your car. It comes, it comes with a charge for your car, so don't worry about that. But further than that, you can only use this for maybe like a scare tactic. So, no, don't buy this. I can throw this also away in my, uh, in my garbage can. So, that was it for this week. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this little video. Uh, check out some of my other videos of buy and skip, or even also I've got some game reviews on my channel. And uh, I'll see you next week with another buy or skip episode. I don't think it's going to be a wish app this time, but we'll see uh, for sure next week. So uh, follow me on Twitter at AirSuidam. Uh, you can uh, push that subscribe button there over there, uh, somewhere down there. Uh, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos of mine. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.